Welcome to a new feature from the NAB Research Center, where we're bringing to you materials from our archives and artifact collections. We're coming to you from our new location on the campus of Salisbury University at the Patricia Arborary Academic Commons. I'm Leslie McRoberts, the local history archivist, and today we're bringing to you a ledger from the boat, the Brig Peggy. What is a brig? A brig is a two-masted merchant vessel and it was between 75 and 165 feet long. It held up to 480 tons of goods and it traveled at approximately 11 knots per hour, which is about 12 miles per hour. The boat was popular between the mid 16th and mid 19th century, gaining its greatest popularity between the 18th and 19th centuries. At times, brigs were also used as wartime vessels. The ledger is dated between 1766 and 1767 from the pre-revolution Somerset County. So the boat was owned by three men, Henry Liddell, Henry Jackson, and Levin Gale. Henry Liddell was the captain of the boat and he had eight crew members. We gleaned from the ledger that the, when the boat was traveling from the Wicomico River to the Caribbean, it carried goods such as ducks, geese, Indian corn, flour, and tobacco. And upon return from the Caribbean, from the islands of Barbados and Antigua, it carried over 830 gallons of rum, 300 casks of sugar, eight hogsheads of molasses, and eight barrels of limes. We then know that these goods were sold to local merchants who ultimately sold it to the people of our region, and then they served it on their dining room table. So why is this ledger important? So the ledger allows us to better understand how the Eastern Shore was connected to the greater Atlantic region during the pre-revolutionary time. And it also allows us to better understand the lifestyles of our local residents. So let's talk about the condition of the ledger. Because of its 250 year old age, it would have a tendency to be rotted or moldy or bug infested. So it is not. The ink is clear, the handwriting is clear, the ledger has not degraded with age, and its exterior cover is very well intact and features a napped finish, which is a velvet-like texture. So how did we acquire this piece of Eastern Shore history? We received this ledger back in 1999 from a man named Freedom Ainsworth. Mr. Ainsworth was a Harvard-trained preservationist who restored many homes here on the Eastern Shore. So it came to us with a number of his restoration documents, as well as other materials that he found in those homes while restoring them. And that includes this ledger. Thanks for watching and join us next time.